Hello students, good day. I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. Today, I'll be teaching science. Let's start first with our vocabulary. Let's start with our first vocabulary. Our first vocabulary is ecosystem. 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 Now, let's spell the word ecosystem. It's E C O S Y S T E M. Ecosystem. Our second vocabulary word is biotic 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 now let's spell the word biotic it's b i o t i c biotic very good now let's proceed to our third and final vocabulary word of the day it's the word abiotic 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 now let's spell the word abiotic it's a b i o t i c abiotic now let's read one more time our three vocabulary words let's begin with our first word ecosystem 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 next word is biotic 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 our third and final word is abiotic 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 very good now we're ready to discuss our topic for today and our topic is living things and their environment again can we repeat our topic for today living things and their environment for us to understand our topic for today let's define first what is environment environment the surrounding or conditions in which a person animal or plant lives or operate again environment is the surroundings or condition in which a person animal or plant lives or operate so for today's topic we will going to tackle the environment of a plant and the environment of a human being let's start first with the environment of a plant so here's the picture of an environment of a plant as you can see it includes those biotic and abiotic factors that influence growth and development of forages but what is biotic and abiotic factors for us to understand our topic let's define also biotic and abiotic factors let's define first what is biotic factors a biotic factor is any living things that has an effect on an ecosystem again a biotic factor is any living thing that has an effect on an ecosystem 
So let's go back to the picture of the environment of a plant. So in this picture, can you identify what are the biotic factors in the pictures? So biotic factors is living things. So what are those living things? Living things has life. Can you identify one example of a biotic factor in the picture? If you answered animals, your answer is correct. So what are those animals in the pictures? So we have turtles, beavers, deer, and even bears. Those are the biotic factors. Now, let's proceed to abiotic factors. Abiotic factors is a non-living condition or thing as climate or habitat that influences or affects an ecosystem and the organisms in it. So, let's go back to the picture of the environment of a plant. So, what are the abiotic factors in this picture? Abiotic factors is non-living things or climate. Can you give one example of abiotic factors in this picture? If you answered water, your answer is correct. The other examples of abiotic factors are we have your sunlight, soil, temperature, and even rocks like minerals. Now, let's discuss also the environment of a human being. So, here's the picture of the environment of a human being. Let's identify also what are the biotics and abiotics in human environment. Let's start with biotics. What are the biotic factors here in the picture? Biotic factors are living things. Can you give an example? If you answered birds, you are correct because birds is an animals and animals is a living things. Next, let's identify abiotic factors here in the picture. Can you give an example of an abiotic factors here in our picture? Remember that abiotic factor is a non-living things. If your answer is the car, your answer is correct. Because car is a non-living thing. We also have other examples like rainbows, clouds, bicycles, mountains, the sky, and even the house. Those are abiotic factors because they are non-living things. Now, let's wrap up what we discussed today. All living things live in an environment. The environment is everything around a living thing. And we have two environment that we discussed today. We have the environment of a plant and the environment of a human being. There are some things that affects here. We have the biotic, which is the living things and the abiotic, which is the non-living things. Now, we're ready to answer your book activities. Please open your book 
to page 16 and answer the activity. Again, open your book to page 16 and answer the activity. So here's the questions of your activity on your science book, page 16. Make a list of things in a plant's environment and in a human's environment. You can use the pictures at the beginning of this chapter on page 13. Again, make a list of things in plant's environment and in a human's environment. You can use the pictures at the beginning of this chapter on page 13. Actually, I attached already the pictures at the side. So you need to answer seven things. Either it is biotic or abiotic factors. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new today. And please don't forget to wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often. Stay safe. And again, this is Teacher Alvin. And see you soon. Bye!